There's nothing like this. It's so unique that you're not just gonna find this anywhere. It's a very special thing that we do and it's very dear to my heart. It's something you're not gonna just find at a festival or something somewhere. So when you do see it, you're very intrigued as to what it's all about and you wanna, wanna sit and watch it. I won't quit doing this until they tell me to quit. <laughs> and quit, she hasn't. When Legina's original group disbanded, she rallied around the members that wanted to stay and added to her ranks. The Lost River Renegades were created, inspired by the 1880s Western frontier. Their reenactments, paired with period accurate costumes and props, is the draw to this local group. Some of us started our own group called the Lost River Renegades. Along with us and the people that we knew, we've become a one big family. My son and I were invited in by a friend of his that he went to school with. Uh, her name is Legina. That was 20 some years ago, and we've been hooked ever since. We've had several requests from, from spectators wanting to join. You have to prove yourself to be trustworthy and that you know the safety issues. Safety issues are the most important part of this reenactment group's concerns with new members. New candidates are invited by current members and begin a sponsorship program. The sponsorship program allows for each new individual a chance to prove their trustworthiness before they do any staging. The most vital skill is the safety around guns and explosives. Well, first of all, we, uh, we do use blanks. Uh, we use uh, real pistols and, and shotguns, but we do shoot blanks. Everybody kind of checks their own, and then Randy goes around and checks everybody else, and he's our safety guy. We have a safety person. We have a security person that's gone through quite an extensive training. We set the entire thing up, and now since we're trying to branch out, the town will be an addition to our show. So you can have different stages of performances. You can have just cowboys. You can have cowboys town front. Cowboys Town Front Jail Cell, you know, and we can customize it from there for what people want. Uh, you know, I've, I've been a fan of, of cowboys, and I'm kind of like that song Willie Nelson had, you know, my heroes have always been cowboys. I have an autographed picture of Roy Rogers and, uh, that he sent to me when I was about six years old. and. You guys may or may not know who he is, but he was a cowboy hero. He, he taught, uh, taught us to be honest and truthful and, you know, uh, not cheat anybody. And, uh, you know, that's, I've been wanting to do something like this all my life, probably, and finally got the opportunity. It's just so much fun. I mean, I love being with these people. I look forward to being with them on the weekends that we're together. Um, my feeling when I wake up in the morning knowing I have a show to do, it's almost like a kid at Christmas. You know, I can't wait to get, get up, get ready, and get there, because I want to see them and, and start doing our performances. And we just want to keep this going. We, we just have a fabulous time. We think it's great history to present to people. Um, and the younger generations, they need to know what the history was. And that's just what we want to do. to come back again. <laughs> <laughs> 